What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and I appreciate you being here. Today I bring you some more Fortnite news and we have some juicy bits to cover for sure. Before we get into that people, I am giving away 2800 V-Bucks as per usual. To win some, simply drop a like on the video and leave a comment down below. Also make sure you sub to my channel too because you should be anyway. But let's get into the news. So first things first. News from last week I actually didn't cover and that is another item is being vaulted until further notice that is. Now there was loads of speculation on what this item was going to be. The crossbow many thought was going to be the actual item that was going to be vaulted because we know we're having an explosive crossbow coming soon but it actually turns out it's a smoke grenade that's being vaulted basically being taken out of the loophole confirmed to be happening with a version 3.3.0 update which comes this week sometime with this update we also get supply llamas basically interactive llamas around a map much like chests which will drop that also juicy loot they also state this point of smart grenades are just not used enough and that they will be vaulted i.e. removed from the loophole but possibly coming back in the future now me personally i think it's the correct call i mean did anyone really use them? I picked them up and I would drop them always first for that most basic item as they were pretty much useless to me. I mean I would pick them up just to chuck out my teammates for the bants and that's about it. So I am happy they are being taken out of the loophole. Makes more room for something I'd actually use. Now there are a of a few items I can also see being removed too. Especially with the amount of new weapons planned to be coming. But that is all speculation at the moment and I prefer not to speculate. Only facts people, only facts. They also talk about the jetpack. Now when we were actually be getting this thing, we were supposed to get it when we got its replacement, that being the hunting rifle a few weeks back. They said at the time that there was a last minute bug with it and they're holding back and working on a fix and plan on basically bringing it to us in the near future. They have since said this. Some issues were identified during an eternal play test and they want to sort these out before pushing anything out to the live game. And this I understand, it's fair to be honest. But I just want to see it in the game. I want to use this thing. It's going to be super fun. I do believe though it will come as part as a limited time game mode. But what do you think? Moving on and earlier today we got a gameplay trailer for the mobile version of Fortnite. And like the CEO of Epic Games said. It will look and play like the console version. This dude wasn't lying. I mean if I wasn't told this was on a mobile phone. I'd actually think it was a console game. It looks superb. It really does. Here is the trailer if you missed it. But yeah guys, what do you actually think about that? To me it looks amazing for sure and I can't wait to get my hands on it. Now to play early and to be an iOS tester, you have to sign up via the Fortnite website. I covered this in my past two videos. I don't think you are too late to sign up, but I know they have been sending out codes already and I believe they will continue to send out these codes over the coming weeks. So if you did sign up, keep an eye on your emails for sure. You don't want to miss this. If you haven't signed up yet, Check out the website link within the video description, you might still be able to do so. Now I will be bringing you guys a breakdown video of this mobile gameplay trailer as there's just so much to talk about. But as for now you can check out my other Fortnite videos if you want to. You will find them linked within the video description. But as always guys I appreciate you stopping by and hopefully I will see you on that next one. Get around.